Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech Booth. Today we are looking at overdubbing on the Zoom H6. The Zoom H6 is a multi-track recorder and it has six inputs. And it includes these four combination inputs. Combination inputs allow you to connect either a microphone input or a line input or also known as the instrument cable. In addition to the four combination inputs, the two at the top are stereo input and they are housed in a capsule that you can remove like this. Besides the XY stereo capsule that's included when you buy the Zoom, you can buy other capsules that have a different inputs. You can get a capsule that has two combination inputs so that you have six combination inputs on your Zoom. Now overdubbing is the process of layering additional sounds or vocals to an existing track. So in my case, I'm going to have a foundational track that I'm going to record on the Zoom and that will be a drum track that I just downloaded from the internet. And over the drum track, I'm going to layer several different sounds and instruments. The Zoom doesn't have internal memory, so I'm going to assume you already have your SD card in the slot and you have formatted it and it's ready to go. And all you need to do now is connect your input and record your foundation track. And now for me, I'm going to record a stereo drum track. And I'm doing this specifically to show you the input at the top, which is the stereo input. It has a line input on the side that you can use. So on this capsule, you can either use the microphones on the front or you can use the line input on the side. So I will connect my TRS cable into here and the other side I'm just going to be using my phone and record a drum track onto the left and right channel. All you need to do is to arm the tracks by pressing until you see that red. When the channel is red, it means it is ready for recording. And what you now need to do is just to play your track and set your level using the knob at the top. That's the left right channel knob at the top. You want to make sure that your track is not too silent, but it also not clipping. Try and make sure that your sounds are all between about minus six to minus 12 decibels. If you go any higher, you're in danger of clipping. And what actually happens when you go higher is that these red lights start flashing. When you see these lights flashing, it means your signal is too hot. You need to turn it down. So once you've set your levels, record your foundation track, it's time to go on to the second step. For the second step, you want to change your recording mode so that you are in the overdubbing mode. For that, you need to go into the menu and then scroll down to project menu, select and then scroll down to overdubbing, select that and then exit. You'll be presented with a different layout on your LCD screen that is ready for overdubbing. Once you exit and you get into your overdubbing mode, you'll find that your foundation track now lights up green. That means it's ready for playback. And next thing you do is to connect your inputs to the track that you're going to be recording next. So in this case, I'll connect my instrument to input one. And then for me to be able to record, I will arm track one by pressing on the one until it is red. And once it's ready, it means it's ready for recording. For you to be able to hear your foundation track or any other tracks that you have recorded, you need headphones. So you connect your headphones to the headphone jack on the side and then you're ready for overdubbing. Once you hit the record button, the foundation track will play and you are able to record on your next track. In this case, it is track one and you record the next sound that you want to record. If you're not happy with what you've recorded, you can re-record it and the zoom will separate and produce another take. You can record up to 99 takes on the same track. So at the end of the overdub, you can select which take you want to use in the final recording. Now all you need to do is to repeat this with all the sounds that you're going to be recording. Remember you have four tracks that you can record. So that's the maximum number of tracks you can do. Once you've done, and you've recorded everything, you can actually do a rough mix on the Zoom itself. 
To mix your project, all you need to do is you go back into the menu, go into the project menu, and this time select project mixer. Once you select the project mixer, back out to see the different controls that you now have for mixing. In the project mixer mode, you use the selector on the side to choose which parameter you want to adjust. You can adjust parameters like levels and panning and other parameters that you will see in the project mixer. Pushing the selector button in will choose for you the parameter that you're going to be mixing and then when you push it forward or backwards you can make the adjustments on that parameter. Once you're done with the mixing you can actually mix down to a stereo track right from your zoom. And all you have to do is again go into the menu, go down to mix down, select format and it gives you the different formats that you can mix down to. Once you've selected audio format, go down and then execute. Once you hit execute, you will see the progress bar on your LCD screen as the zoom processes your audio and mixes it down. Once you've done with the mix down, you can then take your SD card and download all your files onto your computer and you will find a file on there in that folder that's written ST with a number. That is your mixed down file. Well, that's it for today, overdubbing on the Zoom H6. See you next time on Tech Booth.